This is GCSE Chemistry Paper 1 in 5 minutes. Both Combined and Triple Science have 5 topics for Paper 1 Chemistry. So straight away, topic number 1, Atomic Structure and the Periodic Table. Within an atom, there are 3 subatomic particles. The electron, the neutron and the proton. And you need to know these properties from this table, like the back of your hand. Key points involve the proton and neutron having a relative mass of 1, and make sure you understand the different charges on each of the subatomic particles. On the periodic table, you'll notice every single element is laid out, and there will be a number at the top and a number at the bottom. One of these is the atomic number, one of these is the mass number. The atomic number indicates the number of protons, this is matched by the number of electrons, and the mass number is the sum of the number of protons and neutrons. If the atom has had some changes made to it, such as the number of electrons or neutrons, this becomes either an isotope or an ion. Compounds and mixtures are very, very similar, but do have some distinct differences. Compounds are when particles are chemically joined together, and a mixture is simply when the particles just exist together. Now, if you want to separate compounds or mixtures into their original elements. There are four main ways to do this, and those are crystallization, filtration, chromatography, and then also distillation. Distillation can either be simple distillation or fractional distillation. The fractional distillation is slightly more complicated and does involve a few extra steps. Still within this topic, you need to know about the plum pudding model and the history of the atom. The plum pudding model was the original form of the atom that scientists believed to be true. However, after multiple experiments, we are now left with the nuclear model, which looks like this, and contains the existence of the subatomic particles such as the proton, neutron, and electron. And finally, group 1 elements are called the alkali metals, group 7 elements are called the halogens, and group 0, or group 8 some people call it, are the noble gases. You could be tested on any of those names. The rest of the topics are a lot shorter than that, so stay with me till the end if you want to be exam ready. Topic number 2, bonding, structure, and properties of matter. There are three main types of bonding, Ionic bonding, covalent bonding, and metallic bonding. Here is a table comparing all three of those simultaneously. After this, polymers. Polymers are long chains of repeated units, also known as monomers. And then we have the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. It is important that you know each of the terms for switching between each of these states. This is what the particles will look like within each of those states, and also some properties about each of those states. Topic number three, quantitative chemistry. Going back to those mass numbers that we talked about from the periodic table, you need to understand how to use those to work out things like the relative formula mass as you can see on screen. Here is an example where I calculate the relative formula mass of carbon dioxide. The same method can be applied to more complicated compounds and mixtures as well. Moles. Moles are used as a kind of standard unit in chemistry. In one mole of any substance, there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms. This is known as Avogadro's constant, and at GCSE, moles are used in a formula alongside the relative atomic mass and the mass of a substance. A good way to remember this equation is Mr. Moles with a mass on his head, and that is how it looks in the equation triangle. For triple students only, another subtopic to look at is percentage yield and atom economy. This is what that looks like. And then for both combined and triple, concentration and limiting reactants. Topic number four is chemical changes. Firstly, you need to know the difference between acids and bases. An acid is a substance that forms a solution with a pH less than 7. An alkali is a substance that forms a solution with a pH greater than 7. This is not the same thing as a base, as a base is a substance that reacts with an acid to form a salt. From this, there is a whole series of chemical equations that you need to be familiar with the products of if you get tested on them. So here they are on screen now. Next, we have the reactivity series. The reactivity series shows a scale of how reactive these elements are with other substances. So the ones at the top of the reactivity series are very reactive and are typically group one elements on the periodic table. Next are redox reactions. A redox reaction is basically a reaction that involves electrons being transferred. You can either get a reduction reaction or an oxidation reaction. And the acronym oil rig is a great way to remember what each of these mean. And finally, electrolysis. 
Electrolysis is an example of another separation method that uses electricity to split up compounds. It can also be used to separate metals from ores to extract it. And finally, topic five is energy changes. Within topic five, we have exo and endothermic reactions. An exothermic reaction is where energy exits the reaction and goes to the surroundings. Here is an example. And an endothermic reaction is where energy enters the reaction. And here is an example of that. The best way to show endo and exothermic reactions are with a reaction profile. Reaction profiles are shown on a graph like this where you've got the energy level of the reactants and the energy level of the products. And a key detail on these graphs is the activation energy. This is basically the required energy to make the reaction start in the first place. And that sums up a brief overview of GCSE Chemistry Paper 1. I really hope this helped. Thank you very much for watching and best of luck in your exam.